do ba do 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 sharky breath. He plays video games. Hello, and welcome back to The Witness. Um, I've run into a weakness of my whole wait a few days between recording episodes thing. Uh, I don't remember the code to go down to ground level. I don't think. So I might have to... <laughs> Okay, well, let's see if I can remember. Let's see if I can remember. Because it was there was a big rigmarole around it, right? It was this, and then this, and then that. Is that right? Nope, that's not right. Okay, well, hang on a second while I fix this. I'll be with you shortly. Ugh. Can I get off on the green floor? I can get off on the green floor. Ha! Take that, automatic sensors. Ooh, hey, 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 look at that. Look at that, um, poke. As scientists, we realize that color is merely a question of the wavelengths of ethereal vibrations. I suppose that's true. But that does not seem to have dispelled the feeling that eyes which reflect light near wavelength 4800 are a subject for rhapsody, whilst hmm. those which reflect wavelength 5300 are left unsung. Hmm. We have not point. reached the practice of the Laputans who if they would, for example, praise the beauty of a woman or any other animal, they describe it by roms, circles, parallelograms, ellipses, and other geometrical terms. I guess that's one way to do it. The materialist, who is convinced that all phenomena arise from electrons and quanta and the like, controlled by mathematical formulae, must presumably hold the belief that his wife is a rather elaborate differential equation. But he is probably tactful enough not to obtrude this opinion in domestic life. Nerd jokes. If this kind of scientific dissection is felt to be inadequate and irrelevant in ordinary personal relationships, it is surely out of place in the most personal relationship of all, that of the human soul to a divine spirit. Ooh. Arthur Eddington, 1927. I confess, I've not heard of this Eddington fellow, but this is a secret. Look at this secret! Ha ha! Secrets! Yeah! What did I do? Uh, where's that going? Hey, hey, where's it going? I can't see over there. I went over there. Okay, well, I found something. I wonder what it did. Um. Yep, I sure do. Well, back up we go. There we go. That's more like it. Alright, great. Freedom. Let's, uh... Find what we're doing next, I guess. Mm. Now, whoops, what's that? I want to have a look at it. I I remember seeing uh, a comment which mentioned, well, first off, that there was a tape recorder in the green room, although it was indeed an accident that I forgot the code to... What is that? Is it a broken boat? Um, it also mentioned another tape recorder I missed, but I don't remember where it was, and I'm not going to worry about that right now. I will, you know, I got I got time to check that sort of thing out, no doubt, no doubt doubt this game isn't going anywhere anytime soon hand that's a big hand hello oh i'm on your head hello what <laughs> what am i who hello I, I don't have a good angle on that right now well let's keep going up for now since that seems to be what i'm doing for some reason I, oh backpacker cool cool you know there's a path right here i mean sometimes it's all about the challenge of the climb right you go the hard way because the hard way exists Ooh. But at any rate, um, for some reason, I thought that tree, tree, you know, the tree that was sticking out over the chasm that I couldn't actually get past to the... Oh, well, I can do this puzzle. I can do this puzzle. All right. All right. Well, um, so blue has to hit both the blue dots. Mm, might be simpler if I have blue over here, mightn't it? Wait, do I have to do these two individually? Oh, yellow's invisible. Yellow's invisible. Let me let me just make confirm that suspicion. Mm, yes, yes, yellow is in there and invisible. Okay, okay. So you're gonna make this complicated, huh? Okay. So probably this dot right here is here. So if I have a line that goes like this, mm, how can I do this? If it loops around the white. And then hits the yellow. 
and then shoots down to like that. Right. Like that, but the other side, right? I think that's correct. I think that's correct. So let me let me try it out here. Um so down one over f or up one rather. Up one, right four, down one, right one, up three, all the way back, and then up. One, four, one, one, three, five, four, technically, but whatever. Okay, so, like this, like this, like this, and like, no, no, like this. Yeah! Victory is mine! I have opened the door to the outside. Oh, it's a, it's a video secret, isn't it? It's one of them video vaults. Peel the top. Why? How are you doing? Okay, so... You want me to memorize that, huh? Mm, staring at and memorizing. You go almost all the way around that group of four hexagons, and then just before you make it back to your home turf, you, uh... You just duck in right there like you're going for a Catan Longest Road. Yeah, something like that. Okay, cool. I might remember that. Let's get out of here. It was a secret all along. Now then, since I can make it to the top, maybe. Let's try and make it to the top, maybe. Uh, well, this is an improbable formation. How does this even happen? Natural guardrails. Mm, a little squeezy. Oh, snow. It's higher up here than I was expecting. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I need to be higher. I need to be at the top, probably. Oh, hello. Wow, there's a bunch of... Why are there so many statues of Phoenix Wright? Are you Phoenix Wright? You've got the hair. I guess it's not quite as... It's like if, if someone tried to draw Phoenix Wright as an actual person. But he doesn't have his badge, so definitely not. Um, hmm. Okay, sure. That's a simple enough one. I've done it. What did I have done? Hello? Oh. <laughs> right. You were just trying to give me the idea to do the other thing. Okay, now I can see where you're... Obelisk! They light up the obelisks! That's what the big secrets do. The big secret things in the world, they light up the obelisks. Okay. Okay. Cool. I've gained a knowledge. All right. So let's see. You're photographing these two. You. I don't think you're actually helping. Are you trying to pull him over? Or are you just trying to keep that from... I'm not positive, but this guy is definitely sabotaging. He appears to be trying to knock down the archway entirely. Ah. And now I can... Wow! Look at this guy. Oh, no, I thought, for a second I didn't think he had a head. No, he just got it in a weird position. And there's a... Why are all the people trying to climb to the top despairing so much? Is this supposed to represent, like, the zenith of knowledge? And everyone's like, Oh, I want the knowledge, but I can't get the knowledge. It's too hard to climb. It's a metaphor, I guess. Wow, that's very black. That is some super black stuff. I want to make a joke here where you can only look at this if you're not that one guy whose name I can't remember, but I can't make it because I can't remember his name. I'll put something in the... I'll put in a notation and whatever. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey, take it easy. Not... Or, oh, okay. Oh, you're trying to talk him down, but you're just doing it in a, a very stern fashion. That's reasonable, I guess. Huh, what am I looking at. I guess it's just the way I came up. Oh, right, that's the dye pond over there. And there's some kind of a cage? Maybe it looks like it descends into it or something? Not sure. And then, oops, excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, you brought your laptop. That's something. What is that? What's this tool here? What's that for? Not clear. Not clear. Okay, well, there's a bunch of people there. It seems like this is a traveled spot. Why? They're not people. They're statues, right? Hopefully they're not people. Hey, wait a second. So this is one of those things where I need to solve puzzles in order to activate those flaps. The lasers. Each laser is peeled back one of these. So I need to get seven lasers in order to open this box. 
And that seems like a final goal of the game, doesn't it? Yes, it do. Seven lasers. Okay, reasonable. Reasonable. All right, well, let me get a lay of the land since I'm up here. I can actually... Whoa. Hey, how you doing? Up there, Excuse me. You go around every hour and a half. Time after time after time. You wake up usually in the mornings, and just the way that the track of your orbits go, you wake up over the Mideast, over North Africa. As you eat breakfast... Oh, we're talking about the International Space Station. The window as you're going past, and there's the Mediterranean area, and Greece, and Rome, and North Africa, and the Sinai, the whole area. And you realize that in one glance, that what you're seeing is what was the whole history of a man for years, the cradle of civilization. And you go around down across North Africa and out over the Indian Ocean and look up at that great subcontinent of India pointed down toward you as you go past it. And Ceylon off to the side, Burma, Southeast Asia, out over the Philippines and up across that monstrous Pacific Ocean vast body of water you've never realized how big that is before it's pretty hard to realize without seeing it and you finally come up across the coast of california uh -huh. and look for those friendly things los angeles and phoenix and on across El so Paso. friendly about phoenix and there's houston there's home and oh because you, know, you live down sure there enough, there's the astrodome and you identify with that you know not it's really but i get it and down across New Orleans, and then looking down to the south, and there's the whole peninsula of Florida laid out. And all the hundreds of hours you spent flying across that route, down in the atmosphere, all that is friendly again. And you go out across the Atlantic Ocean and back across Africa. And you do it again, and again, and again. Oh, because the space station, and it keeps happening. Identity that you identify with Houston, and then you identify with Los Angeles, and Phoenix, and New Orleans, and everything. And the next thing you recognize in yourself is you're identifying with North Africa. You look forward to that. You anticipate it. And there it is. That whole process begins to shift of what it is you identify with. Fair. When you go around International an hour and a half, you begin to recognize is it that, fast? that your identity is with that whole thing. And that makes a change. You look down there, and you can't imagine how many borders and boundaries you crossed again and again and again. And you don't even see them. I suppose and not. The wake up scene, the Mid East. You know there are hundreds of people killing each other over some imaginary line that you yep. can't see. From where you see it, the thing is a whole, and it's so beautiful. And you wish you could take one from each side in hand and say, look at it from this perspective. Look at that. What's important? And so a little later on, your friend, again, those same neighbors, another astronaut, the person next to you goes out to the moon. And now he looks back and sees the Earth, not as something big where he can see the beautiful details, but he sees the Earth as a small thing out there. And now that contrast between that bright blue and white Christmas tree ornament and that black sky, that infinite universe really comes through. The size of it, the significance of it, it becomes both things. It becomes so small and so fragile and such a precious little spot in that universe that you can block it out with your thumb. And you realize that on that small spot, that little blue and white thing is everything that means anything to you. It's true. All of history and music and poetry and art and war and death and birth and love, tears, joy, games, all of it is on that little spot out there that you can cover with your thumb. Bizarre. And you realize that that perspective, that you've changed, that there's something new there. That relationship is no longer what it was. And then you look back on the time when you were outside on that EVA and those few moments that you had the time because the camera malfunctioned, that you had the time to think about what was happening. And you recall staring out there at the spectacle that went before your eyes. Because now, 
You're no longer inside something with a window looking out at a picture. But now you're out there, and what you've got around your head is a goldfish bowl, and there are no limits here. <laughs> there are no frames. There are no boundaries. You're really out there, over it, floating, going 25,000 miles per hour, ripping through space, a vacuum, and there's not a sound. There's a silence, the depth of which you've never experienced before. Yeah. And that silence contrasts so markedly with the scenery and the speed with which you know you're going. That contrast, the mix of those two things, really comes through. And you think about what you're experiencing and why. Do you deserve this? This fantastic experience? Have you earned this in some way? How does, how Are could you? Are you separated out to be touched by God to have some special experience here that other men cannot have? Hmm. You know the answer to that is no. There's nothing that you've done that deserves that, that earned that. It's not a special thing for you. You know very well at that moment, and it comes through to you so powerfully that you're the sensing element for man. You look down and see the surface of that globe that you've lived on all this time, and you know all those people down there. They are like you. They are you. And somehow you represent them when you are up there. A sensing element. That point out on the end. And that's a humbling feeling. No doubt. It's a feeling that says you have a responsibility. It's not for yourself. The eye that doesn't see does not do justice to the body. That's why it's there. That's why you're out there. And somehow you recognize that you're a piece of this total life. You're out on that forefront and you have to bring that back somehow. And that becomes a rather special responsibility. It tells you something about your relationship with this thing we call life. And when you come back, there's a difference in that world now. There's a difference in that relationship between you and that planet, and you and all those other forms of life on that planet, because you've had that kind of experience. It's a difference, and it's so precious. And all through this, I've used the word you because it's not me. It's not Dave Scott. It's not Dick Gordon, Pete Conrad, John Glenn. It's you. It's us. It's we. It's life. It's had that experience. And it's not just my problem to integrate. It's not my challenge to integrate, my joy to integrate. It's yours. It's everybody's. Russell Schweikart, 1975. That was very enjoyable to listen to, but also very long. I have found a castle. I, I know I can't do... I, I was assuming it was going to mirror up for me. Well, okay. In that case... The tree's in the way. Oh. Perspective. I see. Okay, sure. I passed a couple of puzzles that I feel like I could have taken a, a, a poke at, but uh, there'll be time for that, no doubt. And I, I'm, I'm glad I... I'm glad they left that entire... Put that entire quote in. That, that is a good one. That was a good one. And it also very much suits the whole mood of the game. Uh... I still don't understand how to do those <laughs> lattice work puzzles out here, but I also didn't try because I was in the middle of uh, the middle of that uh, that quote. So wait a second, where did I? There's a there's a power cable coming down from here. Where does it go? Seems like there's a bunch strung around this tree, but it doesn't seem to have affected them at all. So what did you affect, little bonsai tree? Huh. Huh, okay. What if I do it from this perspective? Ha! Ha! Whoa! Something's happening. That was it. That was it. I had the wrong perspective on it. What? Are you, it's closing down the... Why? It's changing the lighting. It's changing the lighting. Okay, okay, sure. Oh, and I can see out here now. So whichever side, whichever side I'm facing when I do this puzzle, 
the shades on that side open. Okay. Okay. Well, I want to open this one because that one has a line on it. So let's uh, do it that way. That way. Um, like this. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's what. That's what's going on. All right. Okay. Great. Yeah, just take your time about it. I'm. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. I see that you are going to. <laughs> take your time about it. I mean. It's a goblet. It's an. It's a. Uh, 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 relief of a goblet. Alright. I can make it look like that squash is in here. Is that what I want to do? Or it might be an hourglass. No, it's definitely... A, it's like a wine glass. Okay. We've got some gourds. I don't think that's how gourds normally grow, but that's not really what I should be worried about right now. Oh. So we got a person. And we got... A broken bridge. And we got... A grail! That's kind of what we're dealing with. Okay, gotcha. What if I look at it from the outside? Broken bridge. Can the gourds fill in the picture? Somehow? Ooh, ooh. There's a, there's a, there's a line here. You just gotta figure out where the line is is contiguous. That's something, but it's not enough. Uh, hmm. Maybe if I look through the broken bridge. Oh, it's close. Oh, it's close. Uh, let's see. Give me a minute. I gotta poke at this. Ha. Huh. Almost. There. Yeah. Yeah. I presumably lit up an obelisk. That one. That one right there. Um, how do I get up there? Around this way? Yes. Yes, here we go. Yes. Let me inspect this obelisk. Okay, that's the that's the line I just drew. Wait. This one has all different patterns from the last one. You mean to tell me that our every pattern on each obelisk is a thing that's somewhere in the world? How big is this game? This game too big. Ah! Okay, well, um, let's get back and work on the puzzle I was working on, <laughs> because I need to, I need to stick to one thing and finish it, because otherwise we will be here forever. Okay, back in. If there's that many puzzles in this, then no... No surface can be trusted. Nothing can be ignored. It all probably has some kind of relevance. Okay. Okay, so... Wait, what if I do the puzzle from... I already did the puzzle from this side, didn't I? The light... I, I want... I, the, right, the, the cable was running out... Was it this direction? Let, let, me, let me try it from here. Let me try it from here. That doesn't actually activate the thing in the center, right? This cable doesn't run through the ground. It just, well, it does. It just runs to the to the shutters, not to this thing in the center, this tree. I don't know a way to activate the panels on the tree. Well, let's go look at the lattices out the side. Because this one's lit up. So what am I looking at? What's... The trees? The greenery? Do I need to make a pattern that doesn't cut through the greenery? Maybe that didn't quite do it. There was greenery in the background, too. I see. So, how about like that? No. Okay. 
maybe I don't have the right perspective on this yet. Okay, let's see. I also could have the wrong idea with the greenery. That might not be the correct answer, but I don't see any other... I don't see anything else that can be considered to be a unifying factor right now, you know? Uh, don't have the right perspective. Wait, there's green behind it now. There's green behind it now. If I'm trying to avoid the green, then I'm failing at the moment. Okay, so how about like that? No, no, that's no good. How about like that? No. Hmm. Well, maybe I have the wrong idea. Maybe it's... But there's too much greenery for it to be... For it to be that I need to go only on the greenery, right? I feel like there's too much. Let's see. Counting leaves right now, I don't think that's going to help, but that's what I'm doing. Hmm. about from here? No. Okay. There's a pile of boards on the floor here. Why would that be the case? Where would these come from? Let me have another little bit of a look around here. Ooh. That's uncanny. There's an upside down man in that. Good thing the sun doesn't move around here or else I wouldn't be able to see that. I guess it's a good thing that I can see that. Eee. Eee. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Does this thing rotate so that the sun hits it different ways? Or does the sun actually move at some point in this game? I think not, right? Because some of the puzzles seem to rely on it. Oh. Hmm. Where does that cable come from? Leads to the gazebo with the trees. Okay, I see. Oh. I have to do these to activate the trees, and I have to do the tree puzzles to activate that thing over there. I see. So I need to figure this out. Hmm. Just got to find the right angle to look at it. I'm, I think that's got to be it. Maybe, maybe it's like the ones that have paint swabs, where I need to separate the different types of greenery from each other. How would I do that? We've got three different types here. We got the bushes, we got the bamboo, and we got the leaves. So if I go like this, no, no, that won't do it. No, that won't do it either. That's no good. Hmm. This might not actually be possible, given that if I'm trying to separate the three types of leaves, that would mean I'd need to have a line here and a line here but also a line separating these out here. So I'd have to have something either here or here, and you can't have three going out of one intersection. So this can't be the solution. That That's that's impossible. Okay. I think. What? 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 Why? Why? What? Huh? What? 
Why? Okay. Well, I guess let's better figure it out, huh? <laughs> Crap. I don't know why that worked. Is it kind of splitting it in half? Unless I was looking at it at the wrong angle, that's also a possibility. This is split in half. The leaves that are intrinsically on it are split right down the middle. Okay, well, there are no intrinsically on it leaves on this one, so... Okay. Uh, I must have misunderstood something. I must have misunderstood something, but I... I don't know what. I don't know why I got it. Um... Oh, it automatically sets the positioning on this one. It automatically sets the positioning on this one. Okay, 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 hang on. It doesn't do that on this one, right? It does. Why? Let's try separating the gray from everything else. No. <laughs> Apparently that's not it. Okay, so it only resets your position if you're too close. The angle is otherwise free to move. Um... I brute forced it. I brute forced the first one. Maybe there's a better angle I can get on this. It looks pretty much the same from the back. Like the ivy is clearer. You don't suppose. Let me open up these let me open up these these shields here. It's the one set I haven't done. It's the one... Th it, that's the puzzle that's around here. It would seem to make sense if it's related somehow, right? Stand by while shades open. Oh, this one's broken. Yeah, this has got to be... This has got to be related. This has got to be related. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay. There's a guide. There's a guide. Okay, so you just have to find... Ah, yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. So, I can't do it from over here, but, uh... It's like that. It's that pattern right there. Shouldn't be too tough to figure out, okay? And this one's broken, so you have to look at it from the other side, which is just fine. I can do that. Probably. Okay. So, like, uh... Oh, right, I need to reactivate it. Right. Doing that right now. Do ba do ba. Oops, wrong. Bad angle. Bad angle. Try again. Do ba do ba do. And do ba do ba do 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 do. Oops. Oops, I got it wrong. <laughs> I I got it wrong. Um. Let's see. It goes like this, and then out. If it goes out, it goes out and around. Hmm. Am I gonna have to have, go have another look at it? Is it like that? No, it wasn't symmetrical. I remember it not being symmetrical. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, I gotta look again. Gotta look again. We gotta do it again. Uh, do it again. Uh. Ah, ah, okay, yes. You go... You go out... To... Then over... No, you don't need to go over. You can just go up and then around. That's what I did. Oh, this twig's broken off. This twig's broken off. You got to go out and around. You got to go out and around. Okay. Like this and like this and like this. 
How dare you? How very dare you? I swear I had that. Let's look again. Let's look again. There might be something I'm missing. Oh, look, another broken twig. Another broken twig. Okay, so you got to go this way and then around and then down like that and ziggy zaggy. Got it. Okay. Okay. So up like this and then down like this and ziggy zaggy. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. None of this. Oh, no, never mind. It's right there in the center. <laughs> Simple enough. Simple enough. So I got to go to the right and then the left and then the right and then down. Right, left, right, down. Great. Great. Great, great, great. So that opens up this. Got myself a little Zen garden without no sand. You can see the other side of this puzzle, which I couldn't understand before, but I still can't understand it. Just poke around the garden a little bit, I guess. Stick my face in the bush. How you doing, bush? Anything in here? No. No. Nope. Just a bush. Just a bush I can go into. That's fine. That's fine. There's clearly something going on on the ground here, right? There's... It's the pattern of light and shadow. And the rocks together. What's the right angle on it? No. No, I'm not finding an angle that makes sense. Okay. Well, clearly something's going on here. Something that'll inform me on how to open this. It's a shortcut, right? It's a shortcut. You just have to figure out how to interpret the, sh the shortcut in order to be able to open it. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm going to worry about that later. We're going to deal with the trees now. Okay. Oh, that doesn't give me much to work with. Okay. All right. Um, I guess let's open the shades foisting that way. Here we go. Uh-oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I found it. I think it has nothing to do with those. No, oh, this isn't quite right. You have to be able to see the, the point of origin. And also this, the ending. Like that. Like that right there. But, oh, I can do it from over here. Well, that's convenient. Woo! Great. Got that. Ah, ah, okay. Well, let's look at the same leaves from the other side. It is different. Well, also the point of origin and the point of finish are different on this side. I see. Oh, there's a leaf. There's a twig in the way there. The twig in the way. That's not going to do it. So now I can see the start point, but not the end point. Now they're not contiguous. Is there a different thing I need to look through? It does not seem so, but maybe from over... Oh! Oh! Over here! Okay. Uh, like this. And then... Uh, I seem to have not quite the right angle on it because I'm stuck against a twig. How about like... That? No. Twig in the way. Gotta get the right angle. Gotta get the right angle or it doesn't work. Can't see the finish line. Okay, that's... It's a good thing I can't squat or anything like that, or else this would get way, way too complicated, way too fast. So, like this. Not quite. There's got to be a sweet spot, right? There's got to be a sweet spot where the twigs don't quite... How about that? How about that? That looks... No, the twig's in the way. Twig and the leaf are both in the way. Okay. Uh, this has got to be it. This has got to be it. i got to make it work. Hang on. How 
about that. Can I go through that space? I can. And then this way. And then up here. And bingo. Ha, 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 ha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right, all right, all right. What's next? Uh-huh. I presume it's this set of twigs right here. Well, wait. No. Because this set of twigs right here completely encompasses the finish line. There's no way I could... There's no way I could accomplish it looking through that. It's straight impossible, and that's not... That's not what we're going for, right? Maybe if I look through the lattice? Hmm. Maybe. Give me a sec. I feel like this is too far away. No, the finish line's completely obscured. Okay, let's see, let's see. Have another look. It's not just a matter of getting the perspective right, right? Certainly it could be. No, no, we don't want that. At this point, the top and half, bottom, top and bottom halves are cut off from each other. I don't see. I can't go diagonally. See, so this isn't. This isn't doing it. I think I was right the first time. This is not, this is impossible. So, maybe if I look at it from the side. Let's give it a shot. Wrong button. Puzzle is not visible from over here. This is a false lead, apparently. Hmm. None of these twigs are broken off. Well, if I get up this close, obviously there's a path. There's a path, but. I feel like that's almost too simple, right? Yeah, that is indeed too simple. Thank you for not shutting off the previous uh, the previous puzzle on this one. I appreciate that game. Is there a way to change my elevation? Wait, 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 what's this? It's showing me the solution. It's not the empty space, it's the solution right there. It's this and this and this. So two, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, three. Two, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, three. Yeah! Yeah! All right! Okay, so that leaves this one. Huh. It's going to be... I have to look at the... Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is half of the solution, and then I need to look at the other twigs to get the other half of the solution, don't I? Okay, I'm going to get a friggin' piece of paper and a pencil. You just, you just... You sit there and you wait. Just a second. Okay. Let's see here. So, starting the top right, and we go to the left and then down to or possibly three I just basically need to draw on the entire thing don't I like that and like that and like that 
And then there's also a path over here, just in case that comes up. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is tricky to do. Well, let's see what we got. Sorry, I shouldn't talk with a pencil in my mouth. Um, okay, let's see. Like that? No, that doesn't seem quite right. So wh what do I have on the bottom here? Not much, honestly. Not much, honestly. So there's a space of two that I don't know yet. And then there's this little hook at the end. Like that. Is that going to match up? I don't know that that is going to match up. Let's, let's see here. Okay, no, that doesn't quite do it, does it? I thought I had it, but I don't know that I did. Ugh. Let's see, that, that line goes like this, and then there's a thing over here. This isn't adding up to a solution. It's not adding up to a solution. Okay, I think I had a false lead. In that case, what what am I supposed to be doing? Is there a bit that's broken out? No, no, there isn't. They're all intact. They're all perfectly intact. Okay. Well, if you took this chunk right here and you just sort of shoved it into that pattern over there, it wouldn't line up properly at the moment, but it would look like you'd have one of these and this would go over here. Hmm. Well, that comes up with a fairly simple solution, honestly. But I'm not certain that I've got it right. It would just be like this. No, that's not it. Okay, okay. Okay, in that case... Is there some underlying pattern with what I'm looking at here? Because this has, this has to be relevant. Because both the start point and the end point and at, yeah, line up perfectly. So what's that middle bit? Who's that Pokemon? You can do like... You can do like this. Oh, not, of course. It's this, these, these two lines right here. These two. The one right above the bottom and the one above that. These two. I don't know what to do with them. Because the top one, well, this one's got you covered. And the bottoms, this has also got you covered. But what about the rest? These patterns only affect the, the center two, and not the bottom one that's got a stick in the way. I think that stick was part of the solution to the previous puzzle. Okay, let's try and get more perspective on this, I guess. I feel like I haven't had much look, luck looking through the shades at them. But maybe if I look around more. This is the last one of these puzzles. So it makes sense if it would be an order of magnitude more complicated. That's generally how they do. Nothing. Nah, nah, this is nothing. That's what that was from. Ah! There's a stick here. There's a stick here. Where did it break off from? Where did it break off from? Well, it's a pretty, 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 pretty easy stick. It's a pretty straightforward stick right there. What possible orientation of it would solve this puzzle? I don't see where it could have broken off. Oh, oh, right there, right there. This right here. 
I think. No? Am I wrong? I can't tell. Let's see. So if it was right there, then it would just zigzaggy down into the corner, right? We go... No, that doesn't quite add up. That doesn't quite add up. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, so how can I fit this pattern into that pattern and make something contiguous? Two, one, 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 one. Okay, so what if... I gotta redo my drawing here. I'm sorry you can't see my drawing. It's very, it's very elaborate and very impressive. Uh, if I go down like this, and then over one, and down two, no, 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 that pattern doesn't work. So it would have to go down two, over, and then up, and then over, and then down two, and over, and over, and over, and over, and then into the corner. Okay, let's try. I just sort of slamma jammed it in wherever it would possibly fit in the in the pattern in the break in the pattern. I'm not sure this is going to be correct, but it's the only thing I can see right now. Let's try it. Ha! Ha ha! I got you. Okay, so that activated something over there. Let's. Uh, I guess I got to run outside. Right. The 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 the. the the thing off to the side. I remember. I remember. It's the thing over here. Yes, with the the upside down man. All right. Fair enough. Could this? Oh, could this be a laser? Oh, this looks like it's probably a laser. I think I got another laser. Which, if there are only seven, I'm making pretty good headway. But if there's that many symbols on the obelisks, does that mean? that getting the seven lasers doesn't finish the game, or does that mean that there's just a whole bunch of optional content that you can do or you can't, or you don't do, whichever you feel like? Because if it's just a scavenger hunt for all the patterns in the world, well, um, I have a suspicion I'm not going to get all of them. But in any case, I got a laser! I'm going to I'm gonna let it do its laser thing, though. I'm going to make sure it's not something other than what I expect it to be. I'm pretty sure it's just going to warm itself up and then get self-oriented properly to wait a second how are you gonna there's a hole through the tree oh they have everything planned out so well good thing nothing ever changes in this world aside from what i affect or else we'd be in a lot of trouble wait that one is that a different color no it's exactly it changes color do they all do that they do not they do not all do that. Why does this one pulse red sometimes? Wait. The one from the flowers pulses yellow sometimes. So they all start green and then they pulse different colors. There's a puzzle here. There's a puzzle here, but you got to have all seven parts of it to be able to figure it out. I bet you that's it. I bet you that that is it. Okay. Wow. Oh, stairs. Hello. Um... Great, I got a laser. I did it. I guess I should probably stop the episode. Wait, let's open this gate first. Because it's easy. Ha ha! I didn't even see that there. Great, shortcuts. I like shortcuts. I like shortcuts a lot. I should probably go around the other side of that lattice that on the other side of this complex and try and get that shortcut opened up too because the faster I can make it around this island, the better. I mean, yeah, I got a motorboat out the side, but... Uh, but still, it's good to have all my paths open. You know what I mean. Anyway, thank you for watching. Oh, right, I forgot. There's clearly, when I was up on the mountain, I didn't want to talk because I didn't want to interrupt the quote, but I could see clearly there's something going on with the clouds. There's that one gray cloud, which is a really good indicator that something's going on with them. But you couldn't see any, pa I couldn't see any patterns with them from the mountain, which suggests to me the only other high up place around here is going to be one of these towers here. Either that one, or I was thinking the one in that complex over there. I'm kind of inclined to head to that one next. Oh, that's clearly a laser. I can see the box from here. Hmm. Well, in any case, I got to keep an eye on this guy whenever I'm doing. Uh, but I also need to stop the episode. So thank you again for watching. Next time, I think I'm probably going to just charge right across this field and head into that their fortress, if possible, and see if I can figure out what's going on in there. And uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, that's next time. I will see you then.